Hello and welcome to a new episode of Journey to the Chateau here from the beautiful Chateau de Colombe. And uh, how often is it that the Tour de France comes by your chateau once in a lifetime and we just had it? Bonjour à tous, bienvenue à Journey to the Chateau de Colombe. Et c'est tout de, de la Tour de France passée au château. Oui. Mm. And that's uh, not so sad, I'm not sure why Uh, wie oft uh, kommt die Tour de France direkt am Schloss vorbei, einmal im Leben? Und das hatten wir jetzt gerade. War toll. Right, so we are out here today again in our uh, beautiful weather Chateau Courtyard. Yes. Uh, we've had a couple of really nice days, which is really great considering all the rain we've had. Yes, and we had, didn't have bright sunshine for the Tour de France. We had like some cloud cover and it was a bit hazy, but helped really with uh, overheating. Right, especially since along the route near us, there were no trees for shade. So uh, it actually was really nice that we had a slightly overcast day. Yes, and we had friends and we had uh, neighbors, ran into neighbors, of course, and it was basically uh, every couple of, of uh, like every hundreds of yards or hundred yards there were people on the side, they were, Oh, barbecuing and uh, having a ball. It was <laughs> fantastic. I mean, who knew? It was. It was very <laughs> exciting. So now they just said hello to our wonderful French neighbors who are farmers. And look at this, there's still people working right behind me. Oh, where is it? There, the harvest is still going on. I'm going to go back to our friends and Stuart because it is now 14 minutes before the caravan arrives. And that supposedly is a lot of fun, but we'll find out. Um, hope we're gonna enjoy it. So this is our little setup. This is the turn and our chateau is right there behind the fields and it was about a three minute walk to get here it's fantastic we have um, cool beverages we have plenty of chairs to share with our neighbors and here we go that's our little group it's absolutely fantastic hello again
Now, the first thing that you see is the caravan. Um, and they, there's a car coming by and it's, it's this LED sign, caravan arrives in 15 minutes. I mean, it is timed to the minute. It is, and you could actually do live tracking to see exactly where the caravan and the cyclists were at. And that was, was really cool. It was. And it just did help. Yeah. Uh, but it's the, the caravan, I, well, I had no idea. Stuart didn't either. But it's it's all these, these companies that sponsor teams, right. but not all of them, some of them. And they have these cool cars that are, you know, made up. One was a detergent bottle and, uh, Oh God, the, 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 the laughing cow, and it was just amazing. And then they threw merchandise at you. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot of fun. And I didn't expect that at all. It was sort of like a, a Tour de France Mardi Gras uh, parade. Yes, <laughs> and of course it's, it's France, so we had uh, a table next to the road with wine and beer and uh, glasses, and um, they were neighbors, so we shared what we had with the neighbors, and it was just lovely. It was a lot of fun, and we, we we it was sort of funny that once the cyclists came by, the for most of the day we were on stage ten of the race, and for most of that day, all the way up until they were past us, they stayed in one group, very tightly packed group, and I was just amazed that they could cycle so close to each other without knocking each other over. It was, I mean, they were almost like sardines. Yeah, in a tin. I mean, it was amazing and. That was so incredibly fast, and I have to say that I'm really glad for new technology because Stuart did some stills and just there were a, a lot of drivers who, I mean, uh, cyclists, who actually looked and smiled at all of us. We were just sitting there, so we, uh, which you can't see, yeah. but in the stills, so it was really fantastic. It and was. They had such good energy around about them. I mean, it was quite overwhelmingly fascinating and really a fantastic time it was yes so uh back to renovations at the chateau because oh. things don't <laughs> stop here <laughs> hey we had one day we got well, one we got the we got part of a day for that <laughs> so we did start work in our side kitchen which we had mentioned before we are starting to work on the side kitchen which is between the kitchen and the dining room yes and it's it was our secret project because we didn't want to do it we didn't i mean yes we did but it's the sink, it was in the way, and the washing machine and everything blocked mm. things. And, you know, as I said, you know, yelling at the dogs because seven dogs, us trying to get through carrying something heavy like a tray with dishes, and then you don't want to step on a dog, mm -hmm. so you yeah, rather yell at them to get out of the way. It was a disaster. It was. <laughs> and so we decided we were going to start on it sooner than later. So, yes. Yeah. And uh, we did start on it, and Tony came by to help. Yes.
So that was really a lot of progress. It was, and uh, it's great that uh, Tony helped us get all the plumbing. John was here as well, getting the electrical. So we got everything moved to the correct side. Yes. Uh, so now we are ready for Patrick to do his magic on the floor. Well, tiling is something I really enjoy doing. I'm like, <laughs> past <the> rain. <laughs> yes, and it's one of those things, as you've said before, uh, it's a lot more enjoyable to have something that has a visual impact yes. than to do something where you're burying something in a wall and covering it up and then no one ever sees the work that you do. Right? That's so. true. By the way, if this, it looks weird. I have Amber here and, and uh, oh, no, it's Luna. So I'm, yeah, we're sort of surrounded dog, by I'm a circle like of dogs. Just right? having weird hour <laughs> movements. <laughs> yeah. So yes, it's, uh, it's really nice so we can actually uh, now really see the enfilade so we can stand in the kitchen and can see from the kitchen door all the way to our other side door through all the rooms and it's really cool. It is. <laughs> and uh, also with uh, continuing the flooring, which is the same flooring that we used in the kitchen. Yes. Uh, the stone tiles and we're going to continue that through. So it's sort of also working on uh, finishing some kitchen project as well. Just to get yes, everything are, done all the way through. That's true. There are some other things we would like in that side kitchen to have to happen. And uh, there are things I'm, we're, we're, we've talked about. It's having a, a small cabinet for glasses, just crystal, mm -hmm. maybe with glass doors that's tall, but not so deep. And working in the, well, what you can call the butler's pantry, but it's the, the china room. Mm -hmm. um, Again, we could put, if we find some old cabinets with glass, we can put those up. And uh, But those are just all wish list projects. And, <laughs> oh, I digress. Sorry. I mean, it, <laughs> it's, it's just... It's still about the side kitchen, so you didn't digress too far. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's just stuff that... Um, would be nice, but we can live without it. So right, and can, and uh, finding storage for things is just a constant problem everywhere in the chateau. And I think most people have that problem in their chateau and in their homes as well. Yeah, of course. But you you think you have so much. I mean, you have a big chateau and there's so much space, and there is a lot of space. But it's also we're not just you know have living the life for two people. It's um, you know there are there will be this uh, soon. A whole week where we have the gîte is full, the bed and breakfast room is full, we have friends come to visit, we have patrons coming to visit, all at once, every bed is taken, and so it's then breakfast, uh, lunch, and dinner, and uh, so it's... Um, <laughs> It's, it's, we need a bit more, more porcelain than we, when a normal <laughs> yeah. household would. Right. So here you go. We need more stories. Right. Busy times. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so that's it for this episode. Uh, if you like it, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe and recommend us to your friends, please. It helps us a lot. And we are almost, well, we are 32,000, right? We are. We passed 32,000. Thank, Thank you very much. Onward and upwards. Yes. And if you want to support the renovation <laughs> of the Chateau, you can join us on Patreon. Or uh, there's a website. It's called Buy Me a Coffee. And we will see you on Friday. Absolutely. Au revoir. Au revoir. Bye. Goodbye. If you enjoyed this video, please use the like feature to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Journey to the Chateau YouTube channel if you would like to see more. Once you've subscribed, you can tap the notification bell in order to ring it, which will allow you to receive all notifications from our channel. Thank you.